Thanks for joining us here at MSNBC, our continuing coverage of Hurricane Charlie. Two developments to report. Florida's Disney World has closed its theme parks in the wake of 110 mile per hour winds as the result of Hurricane Charlie. The Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney, MGM Studios, and Animal Kingdom closed at 1 p.m. Eastern Time to give tourists and workers chance to get off the roads and to safety. And also, the U.S. Navy is taking no chances, sending several of its ships from the Naval Station at Mayport, Florida, out to sea to escape Hurricane Charlie. Several destroyers, frigates, as well as a cruiser will be sent out to the sea, those who were docked in Mayport, Florida. As I said, MSNBC has continuing coverage of Hurricane Charlie. We all know a Category 4 is serious stuff, but how serious? Let's look into this a little closer with MSNBC's meteorologist, Sean McLaughlin. He's right here with us. Sean, how do you even begin to categorize this for people? Yeah, I mean, what, what we can do is, uh, again, remind them that uh, hurricanes are based on what's called the Saffir-Simpson scale. We're, from the Midwest, you're always thinking Fujita scale when you're talking about F1, F2, F3 tornadoes. Well, in hurricane language, it's the Saffir-Simpson scale. It's one through five. Five being the largest, most extreme hurricanes, the most devastating impacts. This one is one away from being a Category 5. This has now jumped up from a Category 2 all the way up to a Category 4 since this morning. This is a very strong storm. This is the National Hurricane Center radar loop. And the reason why we call this up is look at how close it's coming to Fort Myers, less than 70 miles off the coast. You can see some of the strongest bands just starting to move in through the Naples area. There's Everglades cities. This is heavy amounts of rain. And again, the worst part of the storm that you can think of is heading right towards Fort Myers, Port Charlotte area. It's the, called the right front quadrant. You draw a big circle and you cut this thing in, into quarters like this. It's the right front quadrant right there because of the hurricane circulation. You can see it right here, plain as day, counterclockwise, and the most intense winds are moving directly on shore right like that. So it is going to be a major hurricane to impact the Fort Myers, uh, Florida area. Again, sustained winds at over 131 miles an hour, a Category 4 for Hurricane Charlie. I'll, I'll have more in a few minutes. And seeing actually, if we can keep with you here for a moment, we put together some graphics to kind of lay out exactly what makes up a Category 4. As we look at those, as you reminded me a little while ago, it was Hurricane Hugo in 1989 in South Carolina that caused $7 billion in damage. So when we look at these types of, of categories and these types of conditions, Conditions, that's the type of damage we're talking about. Yeah, let me just start with a Category 1, and they call it a minimal hurricane. A Category 1 is a minimal hurricane. You go up to a Category 2, they call it, well, it's a moderate hurricane. Category 3, extensive. It's an extensive hurricane with extensive damage. Now we're talking a Category 4, which is extreme. There's Category 2 there. Category 3 is what Charlie was for most of the morning. Damage to small residences, mobile homes. The old Hurricane Roxanne was a Category 3. Now we're talking big-time hurricanes. Hurricane Felix back in 95, Hurricane Opal in 95 as well. These are winds in excess of 131 miles an hour, all the way up to 155. You've been watching our affiliate there. They keep talking about that storm surge in through Port Charlotte and the mouth of their, of their harbor there, up to 18 feet above normal tide. And mobile homes, manufactured homes, do not make it through a Category 4. We're talking extensive roof damage to people's homes, uh, trees, power lines down. Power is going to be a humongous issue for the southwest coast of Florida all weekend long. Uh, this is going to be a major, major hurricane to impact a very populated area. I'll have more coming up in a few minutes.